Hello and welcome back to Workshop Taz. Happy Monday all my YouTube people out there. Hope you guys are having a good Monday. Hey, today's kind of a little special day. I actually have some content this time. Ooh, content. Um, <clears throat> so bear with me because I don't have anything planned and no matter how much you sit and try to practice from, from the, that I, in front of the camera, it always, it never turns out right. So I'm just gonna have to wing it. Anyway, so today in the mail, I have a box and this box has some stuff in it. So basically the stuff that should be in this box I first saw on um, Peter Zila's uh, channel there. He uh, did some stuff that he got from Jimbo's Garage and I thought that was really uh, one of the people had either commented on his site or something about not being able to buy US made stuff so Peter Zila did a, a short video of some things that are made here in the US and Jimbo's Garage was some of the product that was in that box. Um, I bought the same things not I there's like a couple items I didn't get but I got a lot of the magnetic stuff uh, because I yeah sure it's great it's made in the US but it looks like it's really functional and I'm tired of laying a lot of my uh, uh, my torches on the table and they fall off into the ground or you know you get done welding you get a TIG torch in your hands like now what do I do with it you know you try to droop it over there it never matters what you do it slides off of there and falls off and it's no fun. So, in this box, we have some goodies. I have no idea what colors there. I have no idea, you know, this is all going to be surprised. And I apologize for doing an unboxing video. I don't normally do that because I try not to bore people with the whole um, taking the box apart and, you know, oh, look, here's the manual and stuff like that. So, let's see what we got going on here. First, we're going to pull off all the good paperwork there. And we'll slice this puppy open and see what the heck we've got going on. And then we're going to test it, make sure it does what it's supposed to do, which I'm sure it does. I've seen it in action on uh, Jim Bob's, Jim Bob, Jimbo's, um, sorry, I've thrown some Walton stuff in there, Jimbo's garage. And it looks like the stuff, for, oh, oh, hey, cool, check this out. I get a Jimbo sticker, which I will put somewhere. Oh, it'll go on my welding cart. Ah, thanks, Jimbo. I keep wanting to call you Jim Bob. Okay, so we have paper. That's that's the least exciting part about it. We'll put the paper over here. What do we have? Oh, Ooh, look at that. Jim Bob's Jimbo Jimbo Jim Bob Jimbo's garage. It's a angle grinder holder. Let's check this out. That's a big magnet on there. That's pretty. I hope that camera uh, angle is good enough. Let me see here. Ah, check that out. Made by Jim Bob himself, I believe, there in California. A. Eh? That's orange. Um, I don't know if you have choice of colors or not. I didn't look to see. I'm more concerned about the functionality of it. So we'll put that. Oh yeah, that's that's got a good magnet. On it. Okay, so that's the angle grinder. Um, what do we got here? This looks like it's going to be the um, the uh, stick stick holder. Look at that. That's red. So they come in different colors. That's cool. I don't know if you can see. I'm going to try to get that because the camera angle here doesn't look that great. So I'll try to move that stuff around for you guys. Look at that. Ooh, nice big fat shiny magnet. Okay, here we go. That's going to hit the table, too. Uh, yeah, that works pretty good. Okay, let's snap. Ah, tick torch holder. Ooh, look at that. So, ah, uh, and by the way, this isn't being sponsored by Jim Bob's Garage. Jim Bob, Jimbo's Garage. I know it looks like I am. I'm not, uh... I'm not selling his products. I'm not uh, pushing his products. I just saw that it was on uh, Peter Zila's website. I liked them, and I know they'll be functional for me. So uh, this is a really uh, this perfect timing. Magnet. We already seen the magnet. The nice, pretty blue, and they do stick to the table really good. Okay. Last but not least is the MIG gun holder. It is not painted. It looks like it's just the pretty shiny aluminum. Aluminium. Oh no, I take that back. That's steel. I'm sorry. My bad. That's steel, not aluminium. 
Cool. All right. Well, okay. What else cool contents do we have in here? Oh, that's just the billing information. You guys aren't interested in that. Okay, so. Now, uh, you know that box is going to be in my way. Let me get that out of the way. Otherwise, I'll trip, fall, and cuss. So, let's, uh, let's do the... Um, oh, gee whiz. Yeah, they stick to the table real good. Man. So, let's do the um, angle grinder angle grinder holder first. So, what I'm going to wind up doing is adjusting the camera here down a little bit to make it so you guys can see. Hopefully, you guys can see that. Um... It's hard to see for me to see the screen. So here we go. Okay, angle grinder holder. One, Hercules angle grinder. Uh, yep, it works. Boy, I hate to scratch that thing up. I know, I know it's a tool, but man, look at that. That works pretty doggone good. Yeah, that's uh, that's going to be plenty. Oh, that's way strong enough. That's plenty for me. Cool. So let's do everything at once if I can. Let's pull this over here. We have angle grinder holder. Let's try to slide that over there and hopefully that'll still be within the camera. And next we have uh, TIG torch or uh, MIG torch holder. Sorry about that. I had to steal the. Uh, Mig gun off of my, I said, yeah, mid, mid gun off of my uh, Hobart. Yeah, that looks like it works. In fact, let me get it up here and show you guys. I'll just so you have an idea. Yeah, I'm liking it. Okay, let's do the TIG torch. Did I bring a TIG torch with me? Aha, uh -huh. yes, I did. Okay, so we're gonna steal the TIG torch off of my um, off of my Lincoln Square Wave TIG 200, and somehow I'm putting that in there wrong. Right. Aha! There we go. That's how it goes in there. I like that. That's nice. So what I'll do is pull this puppy off of here and show you guys what we got going on, and you kind of bring this around here. And you pop it in there, and it holds it like that. I'm liking this a lot. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm grooving on that. Yep, I like that a lot. Okay, last but not least, we have the uh, stinger holder. And let's see. So I'm, I'm thinking that I, if I was welding, and I don't know if I mentioned it to you guys, but uh, on the. Um, on the oh man, I get way down here. I'm not getting in the camera at all. Sorry about that. Uh, on the uh, Vulcan Omni Pro 220, I changed the uh, stick electrode holder out on for this uh, uh, Radner uh, electrode holder from uh, oh, where the heck did I get it? It's uh, Chucky 2009's favorite place, um, Air Air Gas. Um, I'm not advertising for them either, but for what I paid for, I really like this. I'm liking this a lot. Now, let's see if this works. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. You know, and this, uh, I know this seems kind of crazy, but this is going to be perfect. Because this is kind of, it won't be like this, but this is kind of how I want everything set up. I want everything at my disposal to where I don't have to, you know, Droop it over here, it slides off and hits the ground. Or I mean I doubt I'll be doing everything all at once, but it's nice to have, you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna stick weld, grab the stick stick holder. If you're gonna TIG, obviously grab the TIG holder. You know, and the um, the uh, angle grinder is pretty much gonna be used for just about everything that you're gonna be doing anyway, so that will always be at the ready and I really like that. As a matter of fact, I would think just my opinion, I think I might grab a couple more of the uh, angle grinder holders. Because, you know, I've got one with a wire wheel, I've got one with a flapper disc, and at least two. Um, yeah, I think that'd be a lot of fun. So anyway, I'd like to thank uh, Jimbo's Garage for this. Like I said, this is not sponsored uh, by him, for him, or anything. These are my own personal products. I just wanted to get these. I saw these on uh, Peter Zila, so I can blame him for me spending the money. Um, I, 
they seem like they're going to be pretty nice. Um, looks like they're very good quality. Uh, like I said, I believe he's making these. Uh, so they're made here in, well, I should say made here. I'm not in California, but I believe they're made in the USA and California, A. Eh? And that's pretty neat. Thank you, uh, Jimbo. I think that's, uh, th this is actually really going to be very, very helpful. So with that, that's all I got. Uh, just some, uh, I, this, yeah, like I said, this can't come at a more perfect time. So with that, that's all I've got. Thank you guys for uh, stopping by and helping me check this stuff out. Sorry for the unboxing, but that's, uh, th this was, uh, you saw this as I was opening it. This wasn't a pre-planned thing. So they came today. Uh, it looks like I'm going to be very happy with the product. Thank you, Jim Bob. Jimbo. Jimbo. Sorry, Jimbo. I don't want to call you Jim Bob. Uh, Waltons. Some of you aren't old enough to know, remember the Waltons. Thanks for stopping by. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. 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 That little button right down over here somewhere. I can't see it, but it's in there somewhere. Anyway, thanks a lot. Uh, we'll have something uh, later on this week when the weather clears up and I got a couple welding projects I want to do, so I'll uh, slap that on some video. Thanks a lot, and uh, have a great week, and we'll uh, see you guys real soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.